Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Mindful SMP server. Crunky here, we're now on episode 28 of this multiplayer adventure, and we're here in front of the Mindful Meadows sign because, well, we're kind of at a new Mindful Meadows, in a sense. I'll explain a little bit more, but if you'll follow me, if I can find the keys, there we go. So yeah, this is Mindful Meadows. You're probably aware of what this place is. And everything is pretty much the same. The snow went away. This this happened quite a while ago. And yeah, everything's how it used to be. So why am I calling this a new Mindful Meadows? The reason behind that is because we're actually using a new host. We're no longer... This is technically a different server. However, everything's the same. We brought the backup over and restored everything on the new host and everything is working great. I mean, we tested everything, checked some things. So yeah, new server, same server. Anyways, it's been a while since the last time I was on here. And in fact, my last episode, I was kind of saying how I was going to kind of take a step back from playing Minecraft or not Minecraft, making videos. And I had no idea I was going to take this long of a break. So what happened was, I don't even remember where my base is. I kind of came to the re realization that I was doing too many videos, taking too much time to do them. And so I wanted to kind of take my time and get back into the flow of things at a more reasonable pace. And I think I took about another three weeks off, maybe another month. I, I don't even know. Um, February is really busy for me. It's one of the busiest times of the year. Every February, I just get bombarded with work. So that's why I've been kind of away from things. But I'm back. I can't promise you that I'll have two episodes a week like I used to, but I'm going to try to be getting some more regular content out. Now, with that said, I have been on the server quite a bit in my free time, just fixing things up and I'll show you a few things that we've done. So the first change that you'll see is I have put in this enormous waterfall here. I mentioned before that I kind of wanted to do a fall to the void, but then I kind of also like there being water in the middle. So I kind of took the best of both worlds and made a waterfall that kind of gets more steep as it goes down and I shouldn't have fallen in here because it takes forever to get back up. But yeah, it falls down to a bunch of black concrete, so it's kind of kind of like the void. This will go away at some point, and we'll have some kind of elevator to get us up there. But if we head down here, you'll see that my mining area is also... It's got some design. We have our... Our beacons here, in all four corners, protected by some glass. And these two hallways are just kind of for show. They're going to go down a ways, but... The main point are these two hallways in which we have, you know, areas for strip mines. We'll take these down and hopefully get plenty of diamonds. This design will go all the way down until I have enough diamonds, which I kind of do already. But yeah, that is the strip mine. Let's head up here and see what's changed up here. So by far the biggest change on this level is we finally put in the ceiling. And this took forever. I had to build this uh, concrete maker device thing over here so that I could push out enough concrete to make this. And we also have one wall that's completely white. This goes up to the second floor as well. And we're preparing to do this all the way around. I have a bit of white concrete, but I'm gonna need a lot more because this is an enormous place. But just to show you that wall, I'm gonna head up here and head to the second floor or first floor, I don't, really know how that works. But in here you'll see that we have a white wall on the inside as well. So yeah, this is needs to be finished. You're probably wondering what this is here. And that's just so when I break down this sand, it won't come in, the water won't come in and break all my torches. It's pretty simple. Hopefully I'll have some video showing this work getting done, but we'll see. So yeah, that is basically all the changes that has happened, at least on my end, on the server. And believe it or not, this took a lot of time. 
because of all the concrete that was needed for that ceiling. And we'll probably take a lot more time doing all these walls because that's an enormous amount of concrete, which means I need to make the powder, make them in the concrete with that thing over there. And by the way, this is basically based off of Wells Knight's concrete maker design. What happens is you drop your concrete in there, it dumps it in there. You put the powder in your offhand, where my torch is now, with a pickaxe in your right hand, or main hand, I guess. Click and hold both buttons here, and each time it'll place the concrete here, it'll detect the change. It'll power this, which will power that as well. It'll shoot off a concrete powder block into your hand so you never run out. And then once it breaks, it'll fall into this hopper and go into this chest. So I have more concrete in here, as you can see. But yeah, that's that. Nothing fancy. And yeah. So just to demonstrate the technique I've been using to place in the walls, as you can see, I have all of these barriers here. When I break this uh, sand and apparently the concrete or gravel under it, you'll see that the water will flow in here. We'll go up to the second floor. And because of those barriers, it won't get out and ruin all my torches. And the same goes here. So we can do this all the way across and not have to worry about anything. And we're also able to, once we're at that point, just fill them in with white concrete and we should be good. I do need to uh, fill this in though. But yeah, I'm going to continue doing this across here like this. And... Hopefully I have enough concrete to kind of fill this in, so we'll see. And just like that, we have ourselves another white wall. I'll probably have to go in here and put down some more torches because this place is fairly unlit. But yeah, it's progress. We have, let's see, two out of six walls finished. So about a third finished, which is not bad. We don't have any more concrete. We have some more in our concrete maker, but that's definitely not gonna be enough for all of this. And I hardly have any gravel left. So I will probably be ending up going out into the ocean and finding myself some more gravel. But in the meantime, I'll just dump all my things in here. But yeah, I have literally almost three stacks of gravel and that is it. I do have a bit of white concrete over here, which will get me started on a part of one of these walls, but definitely not enough to finish it. So yeah, I'm gonna go get myself some gravel, gravel, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we got that wall there, that wall over there, and a little bit more of half of this wall here. As you can see, we have a little opening in the side of our base right now. And this is because I'm just using white concrete powder instead of actually using concrete blocks. And as you can see, my plan to uh, block off all of the water didn't really work. Um, once you get to a certain point, they kind of group up and then they're able to overflow. So yeah, that didn't work as planned, but that's all good. But as I mentioned before, we don't actually have that much gravel. In fact, I think I have less than the stack now. So I'm going to have to go to an ocean. Let's find my gravel. Yeah, I have three blocks of gravel. So I'm going to go to an ocean. I have my five shulker boxes. We're going to gather up some gravel and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I stopped by the base and, or not base, I stopped by spawn, spawn town. And I grabbed myself some night vision and water breathing potions from Justin's shop. And I also stopped by the pigment farm to heal up my shovel. And now we're at the bottom of the ocean where there is plenty of gravel to go around. So this is a spot that I've been going to quite often. Um, there's other spots in this area, like that top area is all cleared out because I've been getting gravel from there. And yeah, I mean, it, this isn't the funnest job in the world, but when you have a base made almost entirely out of concrete, it's just something that needs to be done. So 
I'm gonna grab myself some gravel and I'll see you guys back at the base. I just kind of realized that once the aquatic update or 1.13 or whatever it ends up being called becomes a thing, doing this is gonna be really hard because all of these gravel drops are gonna float up to the surface. Which means after doing all this, within five minutes, I'd have to swim up to the top and grab all of the blocks from the surface, and that could get annoying. I hope I can find an easier way to do gravel, because, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be any fun. Anyways, I've got about two Two shulker boxes full of gravel at the moment. I've been uh, working hard to clearing all this out. But it's taken quite a while and my shovel is taking quite the hit. But if we head down here, you can see the, uh, what is it? The bottles I threw away. But yeah, we have one shulker box, two shulker box, and a bit more. Because my shovel is getting kind of low and so are my supply of water breathing and night vision. I'm going to finish up this last four, four minutes or so of getting gravel, and then I'll probably head back to the base. And I should have enough to at least make all the concrete for the walls, and that'll be good. So let me finish this up real quick, and I'll see you guys back at the base. I keep running out of things. I... uh I filled up on gravel. You can see here. We have gravel. We have a bunch of sand. We have tons of sand actually. But we've run out of bone mill. I think we have, let's see, 28 here. And then I think we have like 50, yeah, 59 here. So I can actually make another, I think it's eight stacks of concrete. So one, two, three, four. Four, let's grab the same amount of sand. One, two, three, four. Run over here and yeah, so eight stacks of concrete powder. And I, I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to finish this off. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we'll see. As I, you can see here, what all we're doing is we're, we're taking this powder. This is not concrete blocks. These are powders and we're just laying them down like so. And because we're in the water, they will automatically turn into concrete blocks and that's all we need. So I'm gonna finish this up probably off camera cause you probably don't wanna see hours of me doing this all around my base. So the next time you see my base, it's gonna be a little bit more complete. We're gonna have all the walls in or the outer walls in. And then in the next episode, we're gonna start working on the inner walls. We're gonna be compartmentalizing this up a little bit so that we have spaces to build things. So there's that. I, yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna do all, all this off camera and let's stop falling. I'm gonna do that build off camera and then we'll start the next episode working on the walls and hopefully that'll be pretty much it for this base. I mean, we've worked a ton on this. I think my last, I don't know, maybe 10 episodes have been working on this base and it's about time I finished it up. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are too. But for today, that's pretty much all I have. I mean, it wasn't a productive day, but they're not all gonna be productive. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you should head down there, hit that like button, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And until the next episode, this has been Crunky and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night. See ya.